still raining a little bit. But I wanted to show this before it started pouring a little later. Some of my little pines, I'm pretty sure they're eastern white pine or northern maybe. They're actually doing a second flush of growth. Some of them, I think this one has five new shoots out of it. I didn't know they could do a second flush. Maybe it's just because they're young and they had a lot of growing to do. I'm not sure. So this is number one and two. Both trees are flushing out again. Three and four, both trees, second flush. Five and six. Just one of them is flushing again. Seven, eight. Also one of them flushing out again. You can see that one on the right. Nine, ten. That's got a few really small ones along the main trunk. That's interesting. Just one of them. 11, 12. One on the left is flushing out second time. There's even a second small bud there opening. 13, 14, we've got some Small shoots along the trunk, both trunks. 15, 16, 17 is my kind of clump style or multi-trunk one. I'm trying to fuse together. It's not flushing out. 15. This is the same type of tree, I'm pretty sure. It's got lots of buds, but no second flush anywhere. So at least one bud at the end of every branch, sometimes multiple. This is, I'm pretty sure, a different type of tree. It looks like a black pine, maybe. I'm not sure. There's longer, thicker, you know, more durable needles, tougher ones. I'm pretty sure this is the seedling I collected from this residence, this house, just from the garden seedling that had popped up from a neighborhood pine. All of the other ones I collected from up north, up in the Algonquin Park area. This one's doing really well. There's three good buds at the end of almost every branch. At least two, anyways. Doing real strong. There's like five, six up there. Another side branch. Yeah, doing really well. This past spring, I did it on camera, anyways. I yeah, what I did was. Cut one candle that was growing out, kind of a rocket type candle. This was the leader that grew up stronger than the other one, but this one still has two good buds. So what I'm gonna do this year, and then I didn't pinch any candles, I just let everything grow along. What I'm gonna do this year is pinch them and just prune them down to two candles per extension. So I can try and force some back budding along these branches. I don't know, I think it's a fairly cool natural structure for a pine tree. I think I'll just leave these two branches, these two, these two kind of barbell branches, you know, but I I think it's kind of natural for the tree. I think 
a different front eventually. But for now, I like it like this. That's it, I'm not gonna do any work on my pines. I just wanted to show the double flushing and show the progress on everything. All the ones that I repotted survived and are looking well. Some of the, the yellow needles on this tree are the old ones. The new ones are fairly healthy. A little bit of sunburn maybe, but pretty good for its first full year of growth anyways. Last year I had it but nothing really happened. Okay, it's November 6th today. I just want to give one more update on all the pines. The eastern or northern white pines, whichever one they are, have all been continuing to grow and, you know, Put out a second flush since the last video. It's now fairly late or mid fall and they're continuing to grow really. Let me get some close-up shots here. So this one, tree one and two, have been the most prolific second flushers. The one on the left has one really long new leader. So two new shoots that have grown pretty well. Another branch out there and a big leader up top. And actually it looks like there is a another bud that has popped. These needles are kind of weird. They're flat and kind of grass-like. I guess that's the early growth. You know, I was kind of expecting them to look like typical pines, but all this growth kind of looks more spruce-like. Anyways, that's tree number two as three, four, five, shoots that have come out. Three and four. Three has two new shoots down on the trunk, one up top, and still a bunch of strong buds that haven't opened. Even another little one in there that has, that's trying to open up. Number four has a couple new buds popping open or plumping up along the trunk. One, two shoots that have come out. It's strange that not all of the buds second flushed. It was like the main buds from last year extended, hardened off, and then a bunch of new buds formed while that was happening. And then after everything hardened off, then the new buds started shooting out and putting out their growth late in the season, which was pretty unexpected for me. I don't really know if these trees normally do a, a second flush. Same thing's going on here. New buds along the trunk. There's a small one that just recently started popping open on the top. This one has a few, few shoots popping out and a new bud, lots of growth. Trees seven and eight. Now for the longest time, seven wasn't doing anything, but now there's a couple things going on in the top there. Some buds trying to open, looks like three, and then another one along the trunk, so Technically, that's also a double flusher. This one 
bunch of buds down there. Gonna create a whorl. Buds higher up. This one here is still doing okay, but it's kind of yellowing a little bit. I don't know. You guys can chime in and let me know if this is normal or if this is some kind of mutant tree I've gotten. Or maybe I fertilized them too much late in the season and just forced a bunch of growth that they didn't really want to do. I don't know if this growth is too green, too fresh, if it'll get kind of burnt off when the temperatures go down to really, really cold, which is going to be fairly soon. They're not going to have time to harden off before the winter freeze comes, for sure. It's funny, some of them have only new growth along the trunk, and a bunch of them have new leaders popping out the top. This one just has three shoots along the trunk and some new buds as well that haven't opened. 11, 12, I'm gonna have to remark these pots. The Sharpie's coming off for some of them. So 11 has that new shoot at the top and another small one in there, bunch of new buds, 12. Small ones at the bottom. There's this one that's trying to come out in there. And that's it. Not a lot happening on that one, but definitely double flushing. 13, 14. Both have shoots along the trunk. And nothing really coming out the tops. And then 15, 16, 17, my clump style. These are actually the, the least vigorous in terms of second flushing. There's a couple buds that have formed along the trunks here, which is a really good sign for next year. But it hasn't fully second flushed like the rest of them. small one back here I'm pretty sure is a two needle red pine which is a local two needle variety there's a new bud two new buds forming on the base there and this one hasn't really hasn't technically second flushed but there are a bunch of new needles that have come out in the last few weeks somehow this candle kept extending I don't know all of these new green needles that are kind of bent and crooked because this wasn't wasn't the healthiest tree I collected it last October when we first moved in kept it inside over the winter let it grow outside this year and now I'm gonna keep it dormant outside over the winter and hopefully it goes back to normal next year and starts really growing but I've definitely learned a lot about trees in the last year no more keeping hardy trees inside for the winter I need to let them go dormant so yeah so these better in the sun up here it's a little shaky from my hand but that's okay so yeah these needles formed and extended just in the last month really since I shot the last update for my pines. I don't think at that time they had started coming out but yeah so I was saying before these dark green needles they were this year's growth and then they hardened off and I thought that was that was it for its growth this year but then you know, that, that main bud in the center didn't do anything. It's probably gotten a little little plumper, but just those needles kept extending. I don't think they're going to grow too much more. Winter's going to set in soon, and 
hopefully they'll kind of harden off a little bit it's okay that they're not that big this tree is just in training obviously it's only a one or two year old seedling um, maybe it was three years old because these these needles coming off I think they regenerate every three years or rather they grow and then they last three years so maybe some of these needles were last years these were two years ago and then yeah that's probably what happened probably it didn't really grow much at all so then these needles here are this year's and these just didn't extend the whole way so then next year hopefully I've got a nice thick leader that comes out and two branches there I'll have to select one of them eventually I don't want two branches coming out in the same spot but for now I'll just let it grow and then my kind of medium size eastern or northern white pine is doing really well still there hasn't been any second flushing on it it's, you know, it's just been forming lots of buds or rather sending energy to them they've been formed for quite a while Actually, there is, can you see that in there? Actually, yeah, it's hard to get it focused, but there it is down there. That's new and it's light green. So I guess, yeah, same with this one here. Light green bud still forming there. There's another one on the trunk here. I guess this is probably normal. It probably keeps forming buds throughout the year. Another one in here. When it's healthy anyways. So this is a really good sign. Got a nice healthy tree there. It's gonna grow really well next year. And then for the big one over here, not much to say about it. There hasn't been really anything forming in terms of new buds. There's definitely no second flushing on it. But it's still looking really well. Healthy. I'm sure I'll get good growth on it next year. I thought yeah there's a little new bud right there so it's starting to back bud a little bit it's a bit of vaseline that got put on there over the summer it kind of seemed like there was something weird happening with the trunk or the bark on this part of the trunk. Right there. I don't know, it looks okay. There might have been some bugs boring into it. I don't know, it looked really weird in the summer. But it looks much better now. I'm gonna have to look into when the best time to pluck some of these buds out. Maybe I should wait until right before they want to extend next year in the spring. And then select, probably I'll select two small buds here. Because probably I don't want the tree too much taller than that. So I would like to take some of the energy from this leader, which has lots stored up right now. Redirect it downwards into the tree and hopefully get some back budding along all of these you know main branches here try and create some better shape in this tree i like the main structure of it but it'd be cool to you know fill in some of these gaps with some branches and whatnot 
Anyways, that's it for now. Maybe I'll stop blathering on about these trees till next year. I don't know if this is a normal thing, the second flushing, or the late, late bud growth. Let me know. It's something I haven't experienced yet, but then I, then again, I haven't really had any healthy pines until now. I had a couple last year, but they all died because I kept them inside and just was not good conditions for keeping a tree alive over the winter, that's for sure. And in the long term. So these will be outside all winter. I'm sure I'll give a winter update on them. But for now, that's what everything looks like. Pretty happy overall with all the progress on them this year. Can't believe that all, all 16, 17 of these little saplings I have, they all survived repotting and you know, grew a whole, whole lot this year. I'm really impressed with all of them and I look forward to keeping keeping them growing in the future. This one's cool too. It's my only other type of pine. All of these ones are the same. Got them in the same area. And then this one's different, so yeah. Maybe I can find some more of them in the yard here. I found this one on the side of the house over in that direction because but over there is a pine tree. I think you can see it maybe sticking out right there. I think that's where it came from. 